Hey friends, happy Friday. Today we continue with 40 things to give up for Lent and beyond and today we are talking about giving up guilt. You know there are three types of guilt that I want to talk about today. The first type is past guilt. Guilt of our past. The past is the past. There is no going back. You can't change the past. You can't relive the past. Don't keep going back to the past. Today is a new day. It is the very first day of the rest of your life. Jesus has redeemed your life. He has forgiven you your sins. He has given you a new start. Now we can learn from our past. And two ways we learn from our past is first we learn from the mistakes of others. We also learn from our own mistakes. And it's much better to learn from the former rather than it is from the latter. And moving forward, we avoid past mistakes. But we don't need to live in the guilt of our past. The past may shape us. The past may, past may guide us. But the past does not define us. It says in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17, If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Jesus set us free from our guilt. In him we move forward in freedom from the guilt of the past. Then there is present guilt. And this is when we keep making the same mistakes over and over again. This is when we don't live up to our expectations. This is when we fall short of goals that we have made. This is when we keep failing to a bad habit or an addiction that we just cannot win the victory or overcome. No, the path to victory, however, it is rarely, if ever, a straight line. For every one step that we take forward, there is two steps back. And the more and more that you pursue God's path in your life, the devil is going to work all the harder to try to knock you off that course. Jesus, he enables us to keep moving forward. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 says, Let us throw off every weight, every sin which so easily entangles us, and let us move forward, press forward with the perseverance that comes from him running the race before us. It doesn't mean, it doesn't say that it's going to be easy. It doesn't mean that it's not going to be without setbacks. But when you can't, know that Jesus can. Ask him for help. Seek his strength. In our church, we believe that when we receive the Lord's Supper, we're not only receiving the forgiveness of our sins, but we're receiving more than that. We're receiving the presence of God. And by receiving the presence of God in our lives, we're given that help to overcome our present challenges. The third type of guilt I wanted to talk about today was future guilt. The day is coming when we will all stand before the righteous judge. And we'll all need to give an account of our life here on this earth. And that, at that time, there will be the pr pronouncement of guilty or not guilty. Apart from Jesus, the only pronouncement that can be made is one of guilty. We have no answers to the charges. The Bible says that all have sinned and all have fallen short of the glory of God. Guilty. Guilty is charged. But Jesus paid it all. He took the guilt that was ours upon himself when we receive that gift by salvation. He receives the punishment that was ours. He takes our place. Although there is nothing you deserve from God except eternal punishment, he offers you undeserved love through Jesus Christ. We sometimes may think that we need to go back and do something more to cover our sins, but Jesus did all that was necessary and there is nothing more that can be done. When we continue to live and persist in our guilt, we are taking away from what Jesus did for us upon the cross. It's as if to say to Jesus that the cross is not enough. But we can't do anything more than Jesus has already done. And to think that we could do anything more, well, it's misguided as best. I want to leave you here today with a beloved old hymn, Nothing But the Blood of Jesus. Here the lyrics go, What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing, nothing but the blood 
of Jesus. Hey, friends. Again, happy Friday. We'll see you again tomorrow. Have a great day.